burn an Xbox 360 game. This will be on how to stealth catch so you can play on Xbox Live. Okay, the next of the video there will be like a mega upload link. Go download that. You'll get it on your desktop like this. You'll open it up. Actually, no, don't open it up. Just go to extract here. You'll extract it. Okay, now you'll get a folder that should say AGBX on your desktop. Open that up. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to go like this. Extract this one to here. Extract it right there. Just the AGBX. You'll get it like this, you'll go into it, choose your operating system, run the setup, next, install, um, this will take a little bit, so I will pause the video and be right back. Okay guys, it just finished, now what you're going to do is you'll go, you'll just close it, now you'll go back to the main folder, you'll go to the I and I one, and you'll click that one right here, extract, you'll get an I and I folder, you'll see an I and I in there, so you'll just go copy, close this, now go to my computer, go to main, go to program files, look for AGBX, then you'll go to paste, and you'll click copy and replace, or just yes. Okay, the new i9 is there. Now what you do is with this little, little green one right here, just move this over to your desktop so you have a shortcut to it. And I can close that. Now, okay, now here's what you do. You, you'll get where I saved to my backups, I'll get an ISO file like that. A little disk with the ISO. About seven. Yeah, about seven gigs. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up AGBX. You're going to go to auto fix. Now, since I did the WX rip method, I'd recommend two, but if you download, do three probably. Now, I'd leave all these settings the same. You can't adjust them, but it's the easiest way to just leave it the same. And now I'm going to open up where I did mine at, which is in Xbox 360 backups. You open up the COD5 ISO. Now, you got this button launch. Click that. Then it'll show up like this. Give it a second. Okay, right there. It failed all the tests. Self check failed. Now down here, it should be giving the megabytes how fast it's going. And I'll pause the video and be back when this is done. Okay, guys, this is just about to finish. Um, and there we go. We finished successfully auto fix. Pressing T to exit. Press the key. Okay. Now there you go. There you're done with the stealth patching but in my next video I'll be showing you how to burn it onto a dual layer DVD okay so see you then